So, for those following me, you know that this morning we had breakfast with Egret. And there was a couple lessons in there that were quite obvious. One is that we dispelled those who doubted whether or not my relationship with Egret is transactional and based on food. So, truth comes to light. Egret is able to get his own food. But there's more than that that I want to bring to light here. I've been trying to teach you that we're all connected. And so this morning, when I woke up, I woke up earlier than I typically do, especially considering I was up fairly late. But I had this feeling like Egret was was outside somehow. And so, and it was important. So I just threw on my shorts, you know what I mean? I didn't have shoes on or anything. And I, and I walked outside real quick and I walked into the middle of my street and I looked up and down the street and I didn't see Egret. And then I, I glanced up the street and there was Egret. And when he saw me, instead of flying to me, he flew to the water. And, and I knew right then exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to have breakfast with everyone. He wanted to show everyone that he does feed himself. And so, without any shoes even, I just knew it was the right thing I needed to do, and I walked up there, and surprisingly, I didn't you know, have any issues, yeah. Uh, but I got up there, and there he was waiting for me. What a beautiful thing that is. And then he did exactly what I knew he would do. And then I was able to share it with everyone. So what's the lesson I'm trying to point out to you here? I'm trying to point out to you that we're all connected. Everything is energy. And the more you go into gratitude, even in the middle of your storms, because you have the Heavenly Father on your side, who can stand against you? Maybe everything isn't going to happen in your time, but it will happen in divine time. Because nothing is beyond my Heavenly Father. Has He not proven that to everyone so far? He's brought three amazing, amazing wild animals to come here and give you testimony to the fact that we are all energy and we are all connected. And we can all treat each other no matter how different with love, kindness, caring, value, and respect. I had three of some of the biggest, well, three of the biggest of each one of their family categories. Huge birds. What a blessing. What a blessing for me and my neighbors. My neighbors feel are all blessed too. And you're blessed as I share as much as I can with you. So, the main thing I wanted to point out to you as you look at that, wonder how, how did Robert know that Egret was ready to share breakfast with you? Why did I wake up and, and run out into the middle of the street looking for Egret? Only to see him lead me there to give you a gift. Now, there was many things that I could have decided along the way and not followed that internal guidance. I could have went, I'm tired, I ain't getting up. And I could have went, it's not that urgent. Let me, let me put on some shoes and get some coffee made and all that. But instead, I followed that internal guidance. And then I have a beautiful gift for myself because that was a beautiful experience for me. But a gift for everyone else as I share it. The gift is in the giving. And as I share it, some people won't value it and some people will. I'm not responsible for that and neither is Egret. <laughs> so, I just wanted to give you a, a helpful hint of something else you might notice as you watch me follow my internal guidance to give you that breakfast with Egret today. 
with love, kindness, caring, value, and respect. Let me tell you now, I'm not a magic man. I'm just living in the, the grace and the love and the guidance promised by our Heavenly Father is promised to you too. Have direct communication with Him. He loves you too. Let me be a lighthouse for you. And you treat everyone, everything, every being, everything with love, kindness, caring, value, and respect. And they'll treat you back the same. It's not that complicated. <laughs>